Hi everyone and welcome to Ohio Valley Couponer. When you guys are seeing this video, it is going to be Tuesday, October the 22nd, I believe, of 2024. I can actually you guys with day number 10 of Vlogtober. And today's going to be a really awesome one. We are on a little day trip today to St. Clairsville, as you saw on our montage, probably. Um, it's about an hour or so from us. It's right close to the Ohio-West Virginia border. Um, we like to come here, you know, every so often I've grown up coming here. My grandparents used to bring um, me and my cousins or whatever. And so it's just a fun place to go, something different and close enough. Um, so they have a nice mall. So we're going to be going there. We stopped at um, Ruby Tuesday to have lunch in Cambridge. Seriously, it is like one of my favorite restaurants ever. And they don't have them very many places anymore. But this one just keeps hanging on. It actually is pretty busy. So... Hopefully it stays. Um, I love to go there when I can. It's really good. It's actually pretty decent on WW as well. Um, you know what they're famous for, that salad bar, right? The salad bar is so amazing at Ruby Tuesday. So I did take full advantage of that. Not even gonna lie, I did have two different helpings at the salad bar. And I did like try to, I did track everything on WW. Um, so yeah, but I did enjoy it. So I indulged on the salad bar. Didn't have breakfast and I used up um, my weekly points today. So it's all good. And then also I had an entree. I had the hickory bourbon chicken with zucchini. No points on WW. The rice was six points and that chicken was five points. So if I just would have got that, it would have been 11 points. But I don't regret getting the salad bar at all. It was all delicious. And yeah, so um, we are just going to have a fun time of it and make a fun afternoon or whatever here in St. Clairsville. So um, we're going to do some shopping at the mall. So let's take you guys along. All right. First stop here is five below. Oh my goodness, guys. Remember how I showed you on my Columbus vlog, um, World Market and all the cool advent calendars? If you're looking for something a little bit more like budget friendly, check five below. They have a dog treat calendar. They have like a Reese's calendar. Oh my gosh. That one is tempting. Not even going to lie. Not even going to lie. Um, they have like a Marvel advent calendar. So many cool advent calendars. So guys, also at five below in cheap advent calendars, they have bath bomb advent calendar. That's interesting. Um, and they have sock advent calendars. So if you're a lady and you want some lady socks, they have 12 days of socks for that. They have tons of different advent calendars here. So very cool. They also have a bunch of gingerbread house kits for five bucks. You have like a Hershey's Kisses one. Oh, those are $4. That's even better. Definitely check out Five Below for their Christmas stuff. Light me when you're too lazy to do laundry. That is me like 90% of the time. All right, guys, so I'm looking at the slime because my cousin Katie, if you guys remember Katie, she um, was on my vlogs a lot when she used to live um, around us, but she moved to South Carolina, but they're going to be home for Christmas, they're hoping. So, yes, but I wanted to get her some slime for Christmas because she just loves slime so much. So I found her some, like, Christmas slime um, online, but I was also wanting to, you know, I was hoping maybe they had, like, some Mountain Dew slime, and it's kind of hard to find. I did see some online, but it's pretty pricey, so I didn't end up getting her that, but, um, this is, like, kind of close, I guess. I mean, it's not quite Mountain Dew, but it's lemon lime, so I don't know. I thought she might like this, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick up some lemon lime slime for her. I don't know what to think about this, guys. This is kind of bizarre. It's a six-piece breakfast plate set. These are all plates, like, plates and cups, so, like, there's a plate that looks like an egg. There's a plate that looks like, is that lettuce? I don't know. Yeah, lettuce, um, eggs, ham. They're all plates or little cups. That is um, weird. Just gonna be honest, very weird. Guys, this five below is massive. Literally so much bigger than our five below. They have a lot of stuff, but I don't know what to think about this. They have a section. Oh, they, they got me on camera fun times. Um, but this one has like an entire section of stuff that is like, over five dollars i don't know it's just not as fun as five below that's kind of what like the whole name of this place is so i don't know what to think about it all right so my dad actually got one of these first and then i saw his and was like wow it's really nice so i think i'm gonna get myself one of these too it's a mouse pad um because i have a it's not even a mouse pad honestly it's a little like craft mat thing i got it to dollar tree and it's like hard and sometimes it's just not very nice so i'm gonna upgrade why not? It even has like a place to like rest your wrist while you're you know using your mouse. It's really nice. So four bucks, why not? Just so you guys don't think, I took this off the shelf because I accidentally grabbed two of them and didn't put it back. I'm putting it back. Five Below literally has like a shrine of different Lilo and Stitch items. My friend Kaylee, I know her mom's watching Mocking Jay. My friend Kaylee would love this because she's like obsessed with Stitch. 
Talk about a throwback, guys. Sam Goody. I think there's two left in the like entire US and one of them's here. All right, going in Marshalls now, which literally is like the exact same thing as TJ Maxx, so I don't know. Yeah, so anyways, in Marshalls, they got lots of Christmas stuff, of course. I love how it's like everybody's just like, everyone has like more Christmas at this point than any fall stuff. Kind of wild. All right, got nothing at Marshalls, but now going to Boscov's. All right, guys, do escalators like give you anxiety? I always like worry I'm gonna like somehow fall off of this thing. It's really stressful. Like I worry I'm gonna like miss the last step where you're supposed to get off and then like fall. I don't know. Maybe I'm the only one with that fear. If you guys have a fear of escalators, kind of, let me know. All right, guys, here goes nothing. I survived. I lived through the escalator. All right, guys, I was thinking about getting this for my grandma because she does love cats, but oh my gosh, look at how much this is. $12.99, now it is an additional 50% off, but that's still $6.49 for one towel. That just feels like a lot. If you guys have seen cat towels anywhere else for cheaper, that are Christmassy, because I'd like to get her a Christmas one. Let me know down below because uh, this is nice, but that's just a lot of money for one towel, I feel like. Guys, we seriously just keep going around here and like looking at their prices. And it's just so expensive. Like even things that are on sale are still expensive. Ugh. Hey, if you guys want to make your own dog treats though, Boscov's has you covered. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. This is an icy maker. Like it makes your own slushies, which is pretty interesting. Very cool. All right, guys, time to brave the escalator again. I get so nervous stepping on them. All right, guys, I'm going to get some clothes because I do need some new, like, sweaters for church and stuff in the winter. I like to wear these a lot. So um, these are kind of pricey, not going to lie, but they're, like, 50% off still. So um, I got this one. It's gray. Really nice. And I zip up. Um, also, this one's even cheaper. This is $24.99, this blue sweater. It's really nice. It's not a zip up, but it's really nice. And then I really like this one, too. So, yeah, going to get these. All right, guys, got my sweaters at Boscov's. So I'd call that a success. I mean, it was more money than I wanted to spend, but that's the way with pretty much everything nowadays. So yeah, they retailed, each of them retailed for like $80 a piece. So glad I didn't pay anywhere near that. But anyways, I think we're done at the mall. I think now we're gonna run to Ollie's, which is right here. So let's go to Ollie's. All right, guys, made it to Ollie's. Seriously, guys, they have some really good deals at Ollie's right now on, like, cookware and stuff. So if you need it or if you need it for Christmas or whatever, like, this Farber Wear um, cutlery set, $9.99. That's a really good deal. And then they have this um, cookware set for $19.99. That's a really good deal, too. So, yeah, pretty nice. Also, they have some slow cookers for $19.99. That seems like a pretty good price. Also, a pretty great deal on these cookie sheets for $1.99. These are, like, pretty good quality, too. So, nice. All right, guys, they do have lots of, like, um, towels here at Ollie's. This is, like, six ninety nine, which you get two. But here's the thing. Do they have cat ones? That's what I need. So I literally see dog ones, but I don't see cats. And that is what my grandma wants, is cat stuff. So, ugh. That's a bummer. Bummer, because they're pretty good price. Especially these are two ninety nine. So they would have had cat ones that were two ninety nine. That would have been amazing. But yeah, no success today. All right, shout out to Mocking Jay. I know you're watching this video, and I know you would love these snowman towels, and you would literally keep them up all year long. You'd never take them down because you leave your snowman decorations up all year long. Mocking Jay is probably watching this vlog right now and is going. Oh, you know what? Shut up. Just you kidding. Not good. All right, so I'm going to pick a couple of these up. Ollie's has Zevia, four seventy nine for eight cans, which sounds like a lot, but seriously, at Walmart, it's like seven something for eight cans. This is a really good price, so I'll pick up a few. All right, guys, done at St. Clairsville, passing back through Cambridge, and totally had to come to Pulp Juice and Smoothies. They are so good, and I'm so excited that my town is getting a pulp in January, I believe, so I'm super excited for that. But I had to stop by and get a smoothie.
All right, guys, it is later now. It is 9.06 p.m., so quite a while from when I last updated y'all. Um, but we went back from St. Clairsville, Cambridge, for the last few hours. Um, we had a good time. You know, quick little day trip. It's close enough we can do that. We're only about an hour and 10 minutes or whatever from, like, the West Virginia border to Wheeling. And St. Clairsville is right before Wheeling, so it's about an hour or so away. And we like to go there. Um, and, you know, just, like, it's a nice time just to go do something different. Something you don't, you know, go to different places than you get to go um in your own town. So and also guys, the drive was amazing because the fall scenery so awesome, so beautiful. It was a beautiful drive there and back because the leaves, you know, all different colors and things like that. It was a really awesome drive too. So, and I got some um, footage of that. So hopefully you guys got to enjoy that as well. Ruby Tuesday. We don't have a Ruby Tuesday anymore. We haven't for years and years. Um but this one in Cambridge just keeps holding on. So I am glad about it. There was a lot of people there. So it must do well, and that's why they keep it open. So I love every time I get to go there, their food is top notch. It's it's expensive. I'll be real, it is expensive. Even with like a coupon, I had a free salad bar coupon. Um, but literally, it still was pretty expensive. But it's so good. It's worth splurging every once in a while on Ruby Tuesday. Um, and then, you know, we went to um, St. Clairsville, which is about 40 minutes or so past Cambridge, so we just had a good time, you know, shopping at the mall. Boss Cobs, we don't have a Boss Cobs. There's only like two in the whole entire state of Ohio. I know it's a big deal for you guys in like Pennsylvania and New York, but Ohio doesn't really have any Boss Cobs except for two locations. And so I love going to Boss Cobs. Um, of course, they were more expensive today. Like they were pretty pricey. They usually are, like I usually find really good deals there, but today, eh, they were so-so. I did get the sweaters because I liked them a lot. Um, and so, yeah, and they were on sale. Like, I didn't pay full price for them, but I don't know. I wish they would have been a little bit cheaper, but nothing is as cheap as it used to be. So inflation, guys. So sometimes we got to pay more than we want. But um, I still got a deal on the sweaters. So I'm glad I got those. And then um, Five Below is great. Um, Ollie's. And I usually find more stuff at that Ollie's, too. I didn't really today. But, you know, it was all good. And then coming back, we went to Pulp. Oh my gosh, it's going to be so dangerous when Pulp is right here. It's going to be really dangerous because it's so good. My town is getting a Pulp and it's like right by everything. Like It's going to be tempting. So I'm going to have to be good because it's expensive. But um, yeah, that was really awesome. And for WW, I'm still doing WW. I was mindful today. I, you know, it's kind of hard at the salad bar to know exact portions. But, um, I, you know, the WW app has the points for everything. So I tracked it. Um, and I, you know, did go over my daily points, but the thing I really like about WW is the weekly points. And that's something I really major draw to WW is the fact they have the weekly points. And that is where you get like, in addition to your daily points, you get this many points a day, but you have like a reserve, an extra reserve for the week that you can dip into. And that really helps me on days when I have stuff going on, when we're going out because truth be told, going out to eat is typically more points than eating at home. Um, and so having that weekly reserve really helps. And I, you know, it's working like guys, I lost over three pounds my first week on WW. It is working. And so I am thankful for it. Um, it's definitely been an adjustment. I've been eating less for sure, as I should be. But it um, allows me to do exactly what I want, to have things in moderation, to have a day where it's maybe a little bit more than usual, but I have it built into my plan and it works. So, And I actually have lost over three pounds on my first week. So it's been amazing and it's working. And I'm thankful for that. So yeah, guys, but that's all I got for this vlog. I hope you all did enjoy this one. And um, yeah, thank you all so, so much for watching. <laughs>